Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can create the scatter chart within Power BI. And before I show you the Power BI scatter chart, just a very quick information is that this sheet is present within the description. So if you want to jump on to a specific tutorial as well as along with that link, you want to jump on directly to that video, you can find it within the description so that it's easy for you to maintain it. Also in future videos, uh, all the future videos and their titles, I will going to put it over here so that it's easy for you to, to search for a relevant one. All right, so let's go ahead within Power BI and see what is a scatter chart, how, scatter chart, how does it look like? And then finally, how you can create one. All right, so here we are within Power BI. And as you can see, this chart shows a relationship. So right now the relationship is being shown between the profit and sales. And here you have the profit starting from 0K to 10K, 20K and 30K clearly showing you some of the customers over here. So when the customer name is given, Emily fan, what product category they are in or the purchase that is being made in a particular product category, what is being the sale and the profit. Also down there, if you will see the another customer, which is Julia Fest and what product category they purchased. However, in this case, we are having the negative profit. So this is about uh, the descriptive side of this chart. However, if you will see largely when the sales is increasing on the larger side, the profit is also increasing. Also, alternatively, uh, if there is a different relationship altogether, for example, as the sales is increasing, the profit is decreasing, then you may want to look at from that perspective as to what is really going on and what you can do to increase the profitability. But it shows the uh, relationship between two different measures with the help of these dots. And on these dots, we can basically plot the customer name, the product name, or any other detailed category, which is present a lot in numbers. So right now there may be, there are like uh, more than 2000 customers, which I am plotting it over here. And you can see how easily it is able to manage those 2000 data points, color code it with the help of these color codings. So for, and even if I just click it over here, you will see that even it highlights the category which I am selecting. So for example, if I highlight furniture, it highlights the furniture as well. So, so here uh, is the basic idea that I've given you is to show the relationship as well as uh, hundreds or thousands of data points you can show. Along with that, uh, you can you can basically show a relevant customer name and some tool tips related to that. But how would you create it from the scratch? So for that, I will just select this and press delete. And then we have this scatter chart over here. So this is like the dots which is present. So I'll click over here and expand it completely. What it asks is basically the details. That means the data points which has hundreds or thousands uh, of data points. So in my case, it is customer name. So what I'll do is select this customer name. Legend. Legend is nothing but if you want to differentiate between these points by product category or the customer segment. So what I can take is the product category and as you can see furniture, office supplies and technology is coming along with a blank. Maybe there are some null values. Um, then on the X axis, in X axis, we want the profit. So I will enable the profit. So X axis is profit. On Y axis, what do we want is the sales. So I will just select the sales and the sales is coming over here. And then uh, size. This is very interesting because size is something where you want to change the size of each of these data point and there can be n number of ways in which you can change for example you may want to change the size based on how much discount you are giving or what is the profit ratio or uh, maybe from shipping perspective like higher the bubble size that means higher the number of days uh, you are taking to ship the product so we, we can be creative around that, but let's let's go ahead with the discount for now. And if you will see the discount as we add, the bubbles have increased. And the main reason for this is it's sum. So what I'll do is we'll just change it to average. Also, we have the option of uh, changing the size as well. So what do we have is basically average discount. Uh, play axis is useful in case you want to do some animation. And I'll show you in the end how you can do that. 
but for now let's go into the formatting and jump directly over here in the shape and if you see the size uh, and the marker shape so what we can do is we can reduce the size a little bit and and yeah think and from here also we can probably uh, change it to maybe 25 um, 25 and negative 25 I wanted to say so negative negative 25 is fine yeah so right now if you see the profit is coming on the x-axis and sales is coming on the y-axis so maybe we may want to switch it so I'll just go here I will remove this profit drag this on the y-axis and on the x-axis I will drag the sales yeah now it is coming like the way I was showing you earlier and in the formatting over here I have shown you the shape uh, and I will just put it like 30 I think that makes way much better uh, the marker shape is something which is up to us what we want to choose we want to choose the square or sort of a diamond shape or maybe a triangle I guess diamond is looking very much better uh, bifurcation is already being done by these three categories and if you want to customize each individual series we can we can enable that but it will open up a lot of options so we have furniture series what marker shape we want we can choose this and we have office supplies and a different marker shape if you want to choose we can choose it but for now I'll just disable this so that's one of the option which is very much relevant to this however you have other options like uh, if you want legend on top on bottom or maybe top center like this one you can enable that also I see I feel that it needs to be a little bit increase the text size so I'll increase the text size so that one can clearly see the each of the category and their respective legend uh, legend name you can change it product category if more some more business friendly name you may want to give you can give it over here uh, also x-axis and y-axis uh, for example if you want to make some changes as to where the x-axis y-axis should start and end and similarly where the x-axis should start and end and what should be the color what should be the text size then you can give it over here but this is very straightforward and very similar to the other options and similarly data colors uh, you can change the color let's say for furniture if you want to use completely different color maybe uh, maybe this blue color then you can change it to the blue but I guess uh, earlier color was fine so I will just change it to to the green because it was you know going with the uh, color combination but this this option is available that we want however if you see in my previous video I've shown you that you can do a color coding or the conditional color coding based on some measure which is not available here and uh, you can just simply uh, change the legend color in this case um, let's quickly see the category category has nothing but uh, if I just enable that uh, it will show you the category uh, name in case especially in those scenarios where you know it's it is properly highlight need to be highlighted so like Deborah or Emily fan Julia West some of the examples I've given you at the start if you think this is like too much then disable it uh, yeah apart from this uh, all the other properties is very straightforward I think uh, you can explore based on the requirements or the conditional state uh, requirement that your company is having and make a beautiful scatter chart so that's about it and I'll meet you in the next topic